I just needed to validate that someone out there was willing to pay for my product first before I spend too much money on it and not have a market for it. So for aspiring entrepreneurs, it's really, really important. Even if you have 100 cities or 200 cities, 300 cities, don't overthink it. Use that money for your pilot phase. Get that physical product out there in front of the customers. Validate that someone is willing to pay for that product. And only when you get paid customers should you now say, let me pump in money to go get a professional packaging bag. <laughs>
to what we were discussing, packaging. Do a little bit of research. You just go on Instagram and then type in like Ghana packaging companies. Like you see so many packaging companies that will just help you at whatever stage you are at. So later on in this video, you'll discover that when I started my business, there was a local brand that was able to provide packaging for what, what I needed at that time, which was literally just a clear bag and some stickers. So I got the clear bag from one entrepreneur and I got the stickers for another entrepreneur. And every time I come home, I sit down. Sometimes I get home at 9 p.m. I don't go to sleep till like 12 a.m. Just literally sitting down and sticking, 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 sticking. Because you don't want to give people, let me see if I have it. You don't want to give people like a plain bag like this that doesn't communicate anything about who you are or what you're doing or why they should buy your stuff. You want to give them something that has information so that the next time they want to buy it, they know, okay, this is the contact number, this is what's inside. You want to, you know, even though you're on a budget, you still want to be competitive. So, you know, one or two CDs extra to get the stickers was a good investment for me. And of course, you pass that cost on to the customer. So there's no need to try to be cheap because some people are having fun behind me. Hopefully, they're going to be safe. Um, so, yes. If you want to get into food processing, I would encourage you, especially people who are in the city, to get into food processing. Because there's somebody else, there's somebody already on the farm, someone's already doing all this stuff. All you're doing is processing it, packaging it, and getting it in front of the customer. I'm super excited to share with you our beautiful new packaging bags. But let me know where you are at, um, at this stage of your business growth. Um, what challenges you face as well as deciding which packaging bags to use, which one not to use. Don't hesitate to include your customers in these decision making. So me, when I was deciding on my final packaging bags, I actually reached out to some of our customers. Because eventually your customers, they become your friends. Because every month they are buying your products, especially if your product is as good as mine. Um, so you can ask them, oh, which one do you think looks good? Da, 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 da. They give you feedback and then you go ahead and you do it. You know, so... I'll end it here and I'll link it to where we are now. Uh, but I just wanted to give this intro to so that you appreciate that packaging is the most important thing. There's this firm called Confident. They did a research a few years ago that showed that when it comes to quality, Ghanaian businesses are just as competitive. When it comes to price point, we're just as competitive. It's just when it comes to packaging that foreign brands have uh, an advantage over us. And we spend millions of dollars importing all kinds of random things into the country. So there's a way we can fix this packaging issue, then that means the money that's going out of the country will finally stay and we will, you know, be able to get somewhere. Now I chose like a culture because if there's one thing I learned from the COVID period is that no matter what happens in this world, people will always want to eat, which means that there's always a demand for food. Uh, I could have decided to work on a farm, but I felt like food processing was more where I could add value. One, because I live in the city. Two, because I have easy access to market. And three, because of social media, it's probably easier for me to get the products in front of customers than me, you know, uprooting myself to go live somewhere in rural Ghana to start a farm from scratch. I mean, I have a lot of respect for people who do that. I just didn't think that I could pull it off just yet. Maybe I'll do it in future. I just want to brag a little bit about our new packaging. You know, so today's uh, conversation is all about the importance of starting small and not waiting till you have dotted all your I's or crossed all your T's before you start. Uh, around June last year, I started reaching out to a lot of uh, food entrepreneurs, people in the processing space and ask them like, what do I need to do? Um, how much money do I need to get started? And almost all of them told me, Jiva, start now. Start whatever resources you have. Do a nice product. Get it in front of the customers. Validate that someone is willing to pay for it. Then and only then should you pump in a lot of money to figure things out. Because you don't want to spend all your money on a product that people will not embrace once it's out in the market because then you don't have a business, you have a hobby, if nobody's willing to pay for it. So let me show you guys our two brand new, beautiful packaging uh, bags. And then I'll tell you how we arrived at this point because we didn't start from here. So 
the first bag is our Hausa cocoa powder bag it's super amazing you can reseal it you see how big it is it's 500 grams and unlike most people we actually do weigh the products to make sure that every single bag is 500 grams you have your nutritional facts here you have your ingredients here we did something different because we wanted to show people how to uh, prepare it but then we also realized that not everybody wants to read people are visual so we did these cartoons on the right side just so that you can actually see that the first step is to mix it second step is to boil water third step is to like mix it in the hot water and the fourth step is of course add sugar and everything else and enjoy it so this is the dusk house cocoa beautiful beautiful packaging bag this bag was actually created by a locally based company called epac packaging one of these days, I will uh, do an interview with them as well for all of you entrepreneurs based in Ghana who are looking for local entrepreneurs to give your money to when it comes to packaging. I would definitely recommend them because the one thing that was important to me was that 100% of our products should be made in Ghana. So not just the content, but also the packaging so that whatever money we're spending to get the products to the customer is going back to a local entrepreneur in Ghana. The house are Kose packaging bag is different because up until this point a lot of you know us for the porridge which is the cocoa very few people actually know about the kose which is the akara this is like all 100 percent black eyed peas so black eyed peas is a good substitute for people who don't want to eat a lot of carbs in the morning it's all protein and it's healthy and it's easy to cook and the reason why i did this is because i love it but i always don't want to buy it outside you know unfortunately i can't guarantee how they go about preparing it and when i would prepare it at home the process is very long you have to soak the beans overnight peel the skin blend it add onions add pepper it was just a lot so i'm like is there a way to make it easy to just add water add a little bit of salt clean it for a bit, and then fry it and call it a day and that's how come we came up with this beautiful girl she's also 500 grams and obviously uh, she's for vegetarians and vegans and people who just want to eat healthy now that i've shown you where we are now i want to take it all the way back to where we started almost a year ago now a year ago when we started we actually had um samples like really cute little sample bags for people to just cook the product try it out and tell us what they thought about it so those samples were not on sale i'll be showing you guys videos of what that sample bag looked like you could get maybe three or four servings from that one sample bag because again you only need two spoonfuls to uh, be full with our products and then when we were ready to sell the products we came up with a 250 grams bag now if you've seen a lot of our uh, marketing materials is actually with the 250 grams pack but what a lot of you don't know is that that pack was actually just you know my way of trying to make do with what I had so the pack actually looked like this for those of you who bought one before I remember I used to come home from work and I would have to like manually stick these things on the back you know like i had to stick the back and stick the front every day before i could put the contents in and seal it for our customers the bag on its own is just a plain envelope you know and we did a transparent one because we wanted to make sure that the customers can still see the content of the product uh, from it and then when it came to the stickers i chose the transparent stickers so that it kind of blends in nicely so it tricks you into thinking that it's not stickers but it's actually stickers so even though i didn't have the budget to get a professional packaging bag i just asked myself like how do i make the most with the little i have so that my customers will still see that there's quality packaging there even though it's not at the level that i personally would want it to be at and the reason i did that before spending thousands of cities on a proper bag was because i just needed to validate that someone out there was going to pay for my product first before i spent too much money on it and not have a market for it so for aspiring entrepreneurs it's really really important even if you have 100 cities or 200 cities 300 cities don't
don't overthink it use that money for your pilot face get that physical product out there in front of the customers validate that someone is willing to pay for that product and only when you get paid customers should you now say let me pump in money to go get a professional packaging bag uh, packaging goes a longer of course the content has to be good because if i buy a beautiful product and it's trash i won't come back and buy and as an aspiring entrepreneur or someone who's already an entrepreneur you want to retain customers you know retain the customer is more important than acquiring the customer so obviously you want the quality to be good but when it comes to us for market shelves especially in africa we're competing with global brands that have way better packaging than us so it doesn't hurt to invest a bit of money into getting the packaging bags that you truly truly want i hope this has been helpful uh if you are in the food processing space and you have specific questions for me please comment down below i'll be more than happy to walk you through then everything that i did how much i spent um you know ways i cut a bit of cost uh, from the very very beginning till now i'm more than happy to share it with you and if you want to see more of these kind of content please hit that subscribe button if you want to buy from us just go to our instagram page or our website and make a purchase thank you guys so much i'll see you next week i'm not sure what i'll be talking about next week but if you have a specific topic that you'd want me to discuss comment that as well below and i will not hesitate to discuss that next week a big 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 happy international women's day to all the beautiful women out there continue being great and don't wait for someone to give you a, a seat at the table just take it and if there's no room for you create your own table and flourish mm -hmm.